going hard the whole night. Um, our boys and the Saints boys, they gave four quarters of great effort and I thought we were lucky enough to be in front of them. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, the beach, the, the beach. <laughs> Wish I was at the beach. <laughs> that would be a bit easier, wouldn't it? But, uh, I'm on the bench and you could feel the pressure in the game. You could genuinely feel the pressure in the game. And that was a big game, I thought. Um, for those who, who like to watch contested footy, two, two really good sides going hard for the whole night. Um, our boys and the Saints boys, they gave four quarters of great effort and I thought we were lucky enough to be in front at the end. St Kilda obviously have the, the, by far the number one defence in the comp heading into this game. It really seemed like um, you guys really held your own and then some against, um, almost played them in their own game. Did you feel that way? Well, we're, we're a really good defensive team, even though our numbers at the start of the year let us down a little bit, but we've been always and have always been for my time at the club a really strong defensive team. And, um, you know, we knew and we acknowledged the, um, the standing of St Kilda in the season so far. and. Uh, you know, we knew we were going to have to be absolutely at our best to play defensive brand of football against them. And I thought, you know, as we spoke about before the game to the players, fair enough, we said we think 12 goals will win. You've got to be prepared to play a 12-goal game, which is hard because footballers don't go out there to start a game thinking they're going to kick 12 goals. They go out there thinking they're going to kick 100 points most weeks. We, we knew we had to go into the game with great composure and accept that the battle was going to be on. What was your message at quarter time to the players? Because it seemed like a pretty slow start. From, from your side? Yeah, I didn't think the start was that bad. I thought the game was actually going OK. They'd made the most of their opportunities. They were gifted a couple from a free kick on the goal line of one, which was an unusual one. But I think that's just what happened. I think sometimes you've got to weather the storm and, you know, runs in football happen. Um, you're, they were one of the best defensive teams in the comp, but you were, were able to penetrate their defence probably more successfully than a lot of other clubs. You mentioned composure. Was that the key there, Ken, or what was the plan? Yeah, I think we had to stay as calm as we could because we we're going to face significant pressure all night and we're going to have to um, you know, be good around the contest. We're going to have to be good when we went in forward. We're going to have to make the most of our opportunities. So, as I said, um, you know, a Ross coach team, they, they're just going to make you play the whole way and um, you know, credit to our boys when they, they were able to keep going and, and stick at it and, and kick some big goals when we needed to. And conversely, down back, you guys seem to always really be in the right spots at the right time for the for majority of their forward entries. I mean, how, pr how proud are the guys that they seem to really stick to the task for most of the night, didn't they? Yeah, well, I think after the first quarter, as you said, we, we gave up 24 or 5 points or something, and then I don't know what they kicked by the end of the night, but they might have only kicked 30-odd points for the rest of the game. So that comes off the back of team care and teamwork, and I think our connection as a team is growing as we go and you know and that's growing through the our forwards through our mids and then through our defenders and when they come together collectively as a team we we have good defensive habits and that stands us in good stead uh, look we're just going to keep going we've just got to keep working hard and, and as a footy club i don't think we ever we ever we don't ever get distracted by too much noise and we just work really hard and sometimes you know at the moment it's working for us i just hope it can keep working because it's a tough season and we won't always sit here as the winner. No, you go, Sarah, sorry. Career high 11 clearances for Jason Horn Francis tonight. Must have been happy with his game. Yeah, I think he's been a, a great get for our footy club, but we know that he's got a lot to work on, a lot to build through. You know, I thought again tonight he, 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 he showed some growth in his game and there's still further growth to come with all phases of the game, but tonight was really impressive. He's, you've seen his power tonight. I think that's what we, we know about him and everyone knows about him in his draft year. He's got this great power. You know, and he's got some other stuff that he can do that's pretty damaging, but he was pick one, so we expect that to be the case. It looked like in the first half particularly, he really sort of, not only in the first quarter when Saints made their run, he seemed to be really holding up the midfielder. Then in the second quarter, he like played a pretty big role in turning the tide your way. Did you see that way as well? Yeah, I think the, the midfield group played a big, a big role together. And Jason may have been the result of some of some great work going on inside, but I think some of them young players on the inside, Rosie Butters, you know, Jace is in there himself, but Ollie was in there at times. Travis went back in a bit, fair bit more tonight than we've done in the in the past few weeks. But we, we we felt as if we could get a bit of speed on the floor that might be helpful for us against the Saints. What's to say about his temperament that he can play in that way uh, while, while copying that sort of reception uh, from the crowd on the road? Oh no, he's he's. We've said a bit about Jace. I've said a lot about him. I think it's he's got a lot to learn and got a lot lot more growth to come. But his temperament is to he he can handle pressure and he he stood up again tonight. Kick 28-14, Were you able to put your finger out? Was there anything you were doing? Did you? Uh, I thought... Oh, I think it was, for us, without being... I'm not an umpire bagger or whinger about it, but at the moment we're a long way in front with the free kick count against. 
Uh, it would be nice to get some clarity from the umpires back to us. If we're that poor at some of the things we're doing, I'd just love to get that direction coming back our way because I don't want to go searching for it. I just, in a two-way conversation, I think it would be nice to feel why we've given away 20-plus more free kicks for, for holding the man in this competition six rounds in. That's a big number, a big, big number. That gives up three, 400 metres in a game of football. We, we are, we're aware of it, we work at it, but we seem to be keeping on doing it. So we, we must have something wrong with the, the umpiring of the game.